This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Agonoy. It's the 26th episode of the Keepsakes podcast, and I have with me one of the notable uh, voices in the cosplay community in Cebu City. He refers to himself as the cosplay event buzzer, and yes, his name is Gary Montejo. Uh, mayong gabi, mayong gabi dyan. Wow, mayong gabi ipod. <laughs> Oo. And eh, dili man ako, dili man ako uh, bisaya pero nung nagpunta ako diyan kasi sa Cebu, ang ilang sa mga salitang natutunan ko is karon ngayon. So Karon? Oo, uh-huh. uh, karon. Tapos uh, adto medyo malabo pa sa akin eh. Adto dito hmm. tama? Hmm. Adto di adto. So adto means you go, you go, you go the uh, adto dito. So you go there. Dito. Okay, oh, punta so ko doon. Punta. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Ayun. Alright. So, <laughs> well, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, okay. Um, Gary. Well, first uh, of how, all, how... I think oh, um, sure. I better greet you formally a Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year din! Oh, happy 2019 uh, din as well. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, let's go. Alright. So, uh, how, may, how long have you been in the community so far? Um, I've started uh, cosplaying or being in the community since 2009. So mm-hmm. the, today, this year marks the 10th year of mm-hmm. uh, being a cosplayer uh, in Cebu or in the mm-hmm. Philippines in general. And then, mm-hmm. yes, um, for, before I started uh, being a Cebu cosplay event buzzer, so you know, I'm just an ordinary cosplayer. Um, making friends and then uh, learning the ropes. Because in 2009, uh, during our time, um, talagang the costume, the the resources on finding the costume was very difficult. It was really challenging for us to look for the costume. Or minsan talagang wapatahika. We had to go online to look for wigs. Uh, wala pa yung mga anime stores non. And then Yeah, it was like a struggle, and one of the one of the challenges also in the year 2009 was uh, our, um, you know the growing uh, or the increased number of events. So during that time, ano, medyo uh, mahirap kasi makuha ng mga updates, kasi sometimes uh, fa- uh, Facebook uh, would have only one source of information sa event page. So, yun nga, in event page. Tapos, most of the time, uh, yung mga friends of friends lang na magkakaroon ng ano, opportunity to join yung mga cosplay-related events. So, for me, um, I actually had an experience as being a public relations officer sa college. So, you know, I, I really want to share my expertise or my assistance to the community by being the Cebu's cosplay event buzzer. So whenever my event, I or whenever there's a rumor for an event or any details of an upcoming event, I immediately uh, go investigate, search for details, and then post it up and post it up in Facebook so that everybody can see. Then there as follows: my network of my network, and then the network of the network will actually get to get the information. So you are. Mm. So, misa nga rin, um, may mga cosplay events na, ano, na hindi na-announce, then naka-frustrate kasi yung iba, na-frustrate yung iba kasi, bakit may cosplay event tapos walang, uh, walang update or walang, wala kami na abiso or something. So, yun yung usually yung mga challenges. And then, uh, sometimes full details then like uh, mechanics, what to, do, what to expect, what's in store. So, na solution na niyan when you know when I started being the event buzzer um, I buzz the details I buzz the mechanics and also uh, minsan ano yung mga what to expect uh, on the on the event itself meron bang bayad yan meron bang uh, uh, asabang venue what to expect in the venue so something like that so yeah well in the year 2009 we also had limited number of of uh, Pros Maker. So, during that time, Pros Maker, um, ma- ma- talaga, may bibilang ma- talaga sa, may bibilang ma- talaga sa delivery mo. Like, three or four or maybe five Pros Maker. Pero ngayon, marami na. 
So, ako lang naman, hindi, hindi ako talaga expert sa pagiging plus maker. So, I would prefer to stand out being the event buzzer. At least nobody's ever done that. So, every so yun yeah, I was able to contribute. Um, I was able to contribute um, greatly in the community by providing information, where information dissemination for whatever is happening uh, on the cosplay events here in Cebu. So yeah, so that's it. Uh, Cebu's cosplay event buzzer, Gary Mantel. Ayun. So don't pala na no? don't pala nagsimula lahat. And you you actually made you actually made a community out of this, ano? And that's that's really a strong feat considering na uh, many people have tried making communities even here in uh, in my home turf Manila, uh, even here and mm-hmm. probably even in Cebu. So um aside from you, have you ever known um other entities or personalities or brands pages that does the same thing as yours yes actually as uh, ever since singa na uh, as year pass by uh, a lot of cosplayers join in to the community and then of course some cosplayers would prefer to create a new community or a new group or sometimes yung mga um aspiring uh future leaders or let's just say yung mga uh grupo grupo actually creates a, a different kind of group so a group within the group but uh in totality we're still i, I can still consider uh the whole Cebu as the whole community so ganun siya so kasi maliit lang talaga yung, uh, even though the physical is malaking malaking Cebu pero the community is, is really that small so you get to know uh, who is the cosplayer, who's co- uh, cosplaying this character before. So who's this cosplayer? But you know, then um, since uh, like I said, a year passed by, medyo parami na lang parami, It's really kind of challenging to identify. But being in the challenge uh, channel of um, being in touch with uh, my network, uh, which is also um, holding with uh, with their community. So I get to be updated as well. So I get to know what's happening in the community. So may I add, though, well, I don't think na uh, it's actually healthy then because it's whenever a community is growing, sometimes a community and within the community and diversity really happens. So we get into that. Okay, so for around uh, ten years, uh, ano yung pinaka memorable moment so far na nagawa mo? Na it really cemented on your memory as the cosplay event buzzer na Cebu. Um, wow. Um, there's so many to mention, but uh, if I may, let's see. Well, doing live is actually one of the starters. Like um, when I started doing live, na uh, that actually is already a good uh, a starter and a good step for me to. You know, to enhance uh, being an event cosplay event buzzer, because I'm always doing offline. Offline is like posting lang face, posting lang posting lang post on Facebook, post lang sa other channels about uh, what's happening. Then when I started doing live, um, okay, this is interesting. So uh, maybe in the near future I can do for videos. But since I'm not uh, patient enough or skilled enough to do to create videos, um, I can just go live, and then. Um, Starting, like, start ako, uh, last year, uh, making coverage, like coverage for Arcon 2018. So, yung mga sumale, sa mga nana, yung mga nanala, I got to interview them. And yes, and also, last year was really good. Um, also, the fact that um, I reminded myself that you, even though you are an event buzzer, you're also a cosplayer. So, to cosplay and compete. Uh, from the locals and the nationals is also one of the best uh, milestone that I our best memory that I remember so far like uh, last year lang uh, I represented I'm one of the representative from Team Madness we run we won runner up for uh, last year's uh, uh, Cosmania Cosplay Mania that was uh, he- that was held on uh, was held rather at uh, SMX convention uh, that was somewhere in September, if I'm not mistaken. So we won second. Mm, uh, we won the run-up. That, uh, yep. mm, that was this uh, ultimate cosplay championship, tama? Right? Yes, ultimate cosplay championship. Ayun, eh. Yun yung time na dapat yes. pagkikita then, tayo in person. <laughs> oh my! I wonder what happened. Uh, <laughs> Pero na I know. I, I mm-hmm. yeah, I know we're both busy during that time. Uh, ako rin kasi, um, I tried to manage my role 
bilang cosplayer, bilang competitor, and bilang event buzzer. So if you can imagine, within the two days, two days na sa Cosmania for day one and day two, I really had to manage my role. So day one, ano ba talaga dapat gagawin ko? Day two, ano ba dapat gagawin ko? So it was really difficult um, to hang out or to meet up uh, with you know with our friends in Manila. But hopefully in the near future, um, we can meet up again and then mm-hmm. we can work together. So mm-hmm. yeah, so day one was really, day one, be, I choose the role as an event buzzer. So um, I had to pull, uh, provide coverage on what's happening. And then I was got to interview Sir Guy Sing Sun. I got mm-hmm. to interview some uh, Cebuana cosplayers who also are very notable, like Dan Sabandeja, Charles mm-hmm. Kurogane, and all other uh, Cebuana cosplayers who also joined and compete and also attended Cosmenia. So, uh, so yeah. So then also I was also con goer nung, nung half of the day. So of course I had to buy some merchandise. Then you know take selfies with friends, take pictures, and you know, get a lot of freebies. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, that was really fun. It was a day before. It was a call before the storm. Then yeah, the day two was really intense. Like we really had to, we really had to prepare ourselves, our mind and body, just to be sh- just to, uh, uh, you know, to win for the competition. So talagang fo- focus na talaga on day two as a competitor for cosplay, uh, for ultimate cosplay championship. And yeah, as a pinal naman, uh, first time joining the UCC, we were able to grab, uh, you know, a first runner up. Not bad. For mm-hmm. joining the f- for the first time along with my team. Mm-hmm. So technically, that's second place. You're just one step from being a champion. Yeah, that's technically second place, and mm-hmm. and I'm very uh, and even though we won second place, I can say it's not really bad because um, the 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 team who won the uh, the championship is also from Cebu. So mm-hmm. parang so which team is yeah, it again? So class S. Ah, team class S. So team class S. Ah, si ano si Siegfried Enero. Yes, uh, that is correct. So uh, for uh, the second time. Ah, eh. <laughs> uh, because of course they're also competing in the World Cosplay Summit Philippines. So tandang tandang yeah, pa rin para nila. And... Uh, Siegfried Enero. Mm-hmm. Sa kasi siya si Shensky yow. Si Shensky, si Shensky yow yon. Mm-hmm. Muntik ko mm-hmm. na hindi malala. Thank you, Gary. Nakalimutan ko yung pa. <laughs> Ayon. Yun that's that's so totally fine. Uh, so yeah, uh, mm. yeah, so uh, um, even though yeah, we did not uh, grab the championship, uh, it was really a historical moment for uh, the Cebu cosplaying community since uh, for the second time, we uh, a Cebu cosplay group, Class S, bagged the championship for the second time and and they're, st- and they're not stopping anytime soon. They really are going to uh, proceed and continue uh, this time for the WCS for the second uh, for the second time. Hopefully mm-hmm. they would uh, represent the Philippines, na because uh, I know they have potentials. They're so good. They are. Mm-hmm. Really, they had the passion and also they had the mga theatrics and even the action scene was really good. So amin naman sa team madness. We were uh, sa amin ang really focused naman is the theatrics as well, but mm-hmm. more on the uh, more on the costume, more on the uh, more on the Visuals. props, more and. Uh, of course, whenever we, uh, a friend of mine um, actually told me that if you're gonna join this, you better go big or you go home. That's something that 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 saying embedded us and inspired us to. Okay, if we're gonna compete for the ultimate cosplay championship and you know the the championship round, we better think of something big. So ayun, anko. So Red Queen, Alice Madness. Then we were able to give them a very big. Uh, the spe- spectacular display of how horrific the queen is. Nung pag enter palang niya, and everybody has this. Oh wow! Because at the, there was like a tentacle, two big tentacles, uh, light with red lights uh, around it, uh, light up to the fa- uh, in the night. So it was really uh, it ca- it brought um, some uh, authority to um, to be very horrific or scary. That you know the Red Queen is coming and is uh, she's out to get uh, Alice. So yung yeah, it was it was really a good concept. So yung yeah, um, having uh, going back. So those are one. Uh, those are uh, a few of the memories that uh, I can say are the milestone that I was able to um, achieve 
uh, not only being a cosplayer but also a Cebu cosplay event buzzer. Hmm. All right. Sige. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, for now, we will take a break as I will announce the set of events that I will be in Keepsakes, the podcast. So as of this posting, I'm already at Icon 2019, this January 13, 2019, Sunday at the Unilab Bayanihan Center. The following month, February, start pala na February, I will be present at Otaku Expo 2019. That's at Mega Trade Hall. And siguro after uh, at that month, I will be at Cosplay Carnival. Just one day, just one day sa Cosplay Carnival. That will be enough for me. And May, January, February, March, April, April 6 to 7, if I remember it correctly, Ozine Fest 2019, SM Mega Mall Mega Trade Hall. So, January, February, March, April, May, June, May, I believe there's a uh, Black Ink uh, event, uh, Black Ink Manga Fest in May, and ToyCon will be on June 28 to 30 at SMX Manila. Marami pa pong events, that's just for the first half of 2019, and nakalatag na po lahat ng events natin. I will be seeing you there regardless kung ako'y bisita, kung ako'y nag-record, kung ako'y media partner, kung ako'y staff. <laughs> so, so yan. Well, uh, those are the events that we'll be attending. Yes, Gary. Oh, excuse me. I also would like to grab the opportunity uh, for me to also um, provide uh, the whole year round of upcoming events. It's still partial, uh, special event for Cebu. Uh, okay lang? Can I grab the opportunity? Sure, sure, sure. All right, so for, sure, for January, sure. for this year, 2019, we have two awesome events happening in Cebu. First is Automoto, located at Robinson's Gallery at January 12. Um, that will be our first kickoff cosplay event. And then for the second one is A Day Before Sinulog. That will be sponsored by another uh, company, uh, which we hopefully, uh, once it is approved, it will be held at Ayala Center Cebu. Now, for February, um, also Bono knows about this, Otaku Fest 2019, that will be on February 23 and 24. We are still waiting for Otaku Fest organizers to announce where exactly is the venue. But, of course, Otaku Fest, it's always an open or an uh, outside event. So, we also have on March, which is the Sakura Fest. Uh, for April, we have a cost act, which is cosplay in action, uh, an event wherein for cosplayers we have a charity event for a cost and also uh, another cosplay competition. We also have um, on May and higher photo shoots. June will be SEE or Sugbo Entertainment Expo, and July pahinga muna tayo. August cost craze. September anime asobi. October will be Arcon 2019. November will be Hobby Bazaar, and December is the ulti- uh, is the UCC or United Cosplayers of Cebu Christmas Party. So that's still the partial. Marami pang pap na nadarating. <laughs> okay, uh, just a clarification about those sa mga locations. Ano? Robinson's Galleria, Cebu. Uh, kasi... Yes, so, Robinson's Galleria, yeah. Cebu. I'm sorry. Cebu. I'm wearing up along Robinson's uh-huh. Galleria sa Manila. Robinson's Galleria, Cebu, that will be January 12. I almost forgot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, it's okay, it's okay. And about the sa Arcon October, ano? I think I yeah. think I'm going to attend that. I think I'm going to attend oh, that. Oh yes, um, please. Hopefully, ho- hopefully, pag may date na sila, punta ako agad. Most likely, it will be the last weekend of October. It will be hitting. Uh, it will be hitting the same day, same weekend for the Halloween. So setting your expectation. Mm. Yun talaga, ganun, yun talaga yung mga yung date na nangyayari for Arcon. And I heard Arcon will be holding another bigger event with the success of last year's event. We had to cater to more attendees of um, for the con. So we are uh, really looking for a bigger venue. They are, I'm sorry, the organizers are looking for a, better, a bigger venue. And I think mm-hmm. they're eyeing IC3. It's actually very big in, here in Cebu. It has Hall A to H. Mm-hmm. So I... Yeah, we're really looking forward and we hope that uh, you would also join us uh, oh, for um, a can, can you define, for our can, uh, can you define IC3? Sorry. Uh, hmm, I forgot uh, the uh, the word for IC3. But this is a... Is hmm. I think this is a, you know, um, immaculate uh, Christian convention something. So it it is ah, okay. uh, it is owned by a church. 
Ooh. Yes, and Amazing. they had this um, uh, Eucharistic celebration three years ago, and a lot of um, uh, from religious religious sector actually attended this. So that's why uh, all around all around the world. So they actually had to attend, and then you know they had to accommodate a lot of them. So ganun siya uh, I think I think I remembered that. Can you sinasabi ni Mike Enriquez every morning when that, that was be happening before so uh, nga, no? uh where is where is that exactly banda sa Cebu let's see i'm currently checking my my details hold on mm uh, sige uh, as uh, you check on the location you know, of course um aside from our announcements uh ibibigay din natin tong lista ng mga events from Manila to Cebu ito even Davao to Anime PH to uh, so Anime PH also gathers the schedule for 2019 ibibigay ano, I'll request Gary to send the links and the, and then ibibigay ko kay Rhea ng Anime PH one of my close buddies oh yeah the, wow that's Misa. good that is yeah. really good uh-uh. ah, by the way do you uh-uh. have an idea yeah. if uh, when is APCC APCC not yet yeah I'm, uh, I, I actually contacted the organizers for APC last um a few uh, two months ago and then they said that we're gonna announce the date so december last year and then w- uh, we were still waiting for the date so you know we're also excited to uh to join apcc so hopefully um apcc would uh, announce it early as soon as possible so that you know once there's a piece of air book na ng flight and then we're gonna join Ayun. Uh, APCC dati na sa World Trade Center siya eh. Uh, mm. Pero ngayon, eh, SMX na siya. That is right, correct. Sige, uh, for, mm, for now, we will close down the events calendar and <laughs> we shall get back to our interview. Yes, our interview with the cosplay event buzzer. Now, Cebu. Yeah. Now, Subo. Gary Montero. <laughs> yes, thank you, Jay. Keepsakes, the podcast. All right. So we're now back and uh just a few more questions ano napasarap ang usapan natin ngayon no? mm. but we can extend uh, the time uh, siguro no Okay one of the questions that I'm going to ask is what are the uh I think na mention mo na to before na no? but uh, do you have any specific challenges before as a as a announcer well, the best... as a cosplay buzzer Oh, thank you very much for that question. Uh, well, the ch- best challenge so far is, um, you know, making sure that the information is accurate as soon as possible. So that's number one. Number two is that how you are able to deliver the, the bad news. How are you able to deliver that, okay, this event will be canceled or this event will have to move or something like that. So it was really difficult for me to... To post it, because, sure, it will cause um, it will cause some negative reaction. But uh, along the way, since I also have, I don't know, an experience being a call center uh, specialist, uh, being working in a BPL for almost ten years, uh, para alam ko na kung paano iposition and how to use the right words. So we uh, regret to inform everyone that this event will no longer push through, or we, this event will be moving. However, yeah, ganon ganon siya. So it was really challenging uh, and also get the accurate information. And as much as possible, you need, really need to have um, a great sense of control. Uh, control meaning if you have the information, tapos hindi pa ina-announce ng main organizer, you're not allowed to post it. Kasi it will be... Tawag to is embargo. Yes. It's unethical. It's unprofessional also to do it. Kasi hindi ka pwede mag, ano, gag, um, mag-a-announce na muna, ano, maunang mag-a-announce, tapos yung organizer mag-a-announce next. That's not really ethical. So you really need to have whole sense of control. All the information that you're given is is uh, still in your, uh, is still within you and you're not allowed to announce it until, nga, until we get the go signal. And that's what I usually tell also my um, my fellow networks. So, bawal i announce until meron pang go signal. Once may go signal, that's the time that we can hype uh, and inform them. So, that's what is the the three challenges, I guess. So, accuracy, delivering the bad news, and also uh, yun nga, get uh, being in control of, or managing the information mm-hmm. that you got. All right. So I think uh, this goes as well with uh, journalistic ethics, no, and even even uh, 
pa, pa, uh, be, uh, how, how do I say it? Decency. Yun. Yes. That, tama mm-hmm. din. And, mm-hmm. and targeting Targeting na rin. Na rin. <laughs> So, yun ano. So, since we talk about the mm-hmm. best moments, the benefits, kumbaga, the challenges that we face, how, uh, how uh, what are the mm-hmm. points that we uh, should take note of? Uh, now, uh, siguro, yun na muna, no? Uh, I'd like uh, to... Uh, I was thinking of the scenario. Uh, in this time kasi, ilan lang ang mga... Uh, mga networks, kumbaga mga channels, mga platforms. For example, we have in Manila, Anime Pilipinas, mm-hmm. Anime PH, Arcademac.com, mm-hmm. Setsuani ng Anime Corner uh, Philippines. We have uh, Anime tra- mm-hmm. anime Trading is a different thing, ano? pero it's it covers more in anime. Ano? Pero mm-hmm. in Cebu, uh, uh, let's delve further. No? Aside, uh, aside from you, uh, any brands that uh, you know na ano, any pages that cater to the Cebu audience, the Cebuano audience? Well, to be honest with you, I'm, um, there are a few. Um, um, I guess we're going to call them content mm, yes, creators. Yes. They're content creators, and uh, some of them are coming from my friends uh, who are just mm. doing it for fun. For fun, mm. talaga. And then, um, yung mga ganong names like anime, etc., etc., mm. that's in Manila. I rarely uh, get to um, get to meet them. Oh, there's one though. There's um, oh gosh, I I should remember this. <laughs> Cebu. Um, there's mm-hmm. Habinatics. That's one who is uh, who is a YouTube, who is a YouTuber who's, uh, who just would like to you know make fun and have highlights mm-hmm. of the events. We also have um, Scanhead. Uh, who is uh, transitioning from, you know, giving highlights of any uh, every um, uh, every activities in in the cosplay community, in the cosplay scene and the hobby scene. They're not, he's now transitioning to um, infotainment. So sa video. So there's one more. Oh my God, X Geeks. There you go, X Geeks. They are my friends who are all, not only folk. Uh, not only caters to the cosplay um, as a ho- cosplay as only the hobby but all, there are also other hobbies there also that they are also catering so um, yeah the recently I recently um, had to I got to meet with them Arkan and it was really fun because you know, they also have create fun videos they create fun, informative videos and they, they and again they do, do not only focus on um, on cosplay, they also focus on other hobbies like uh, tabletop gaming, card gaming, um, also esports. So yeah, and uh, also yung lightsaber. Uh, we also have here in Cebu yung um, a lightsaber ish academy. Na merong mga merong nag train on how to use the lightsaber, and then they do also the you know the sword mm-hmm. fights. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. um, speaking of which, ano, uh, curious question lang. We have MNL48 and Idrosozai. Of course, MNL48, uh, national yan. Idrosozai, CH4U, the likes of Alice Project, yan, mga cover groups and the sort sa Manila. Do we have those kinds in Cebu? Um, version, I, we don't have that. However, <coughs> excuse me. Um, we also, we, we have... Um, Yung mga fan mm-hmm. group um, like uh, Love mm-hmm. Life, Aquastaria, we also mm-hmm. have that. Um, so mostly they like more on Love Live um, and less on the Idol Master. Sorry, Idol Master fans. Hello. Uh, but yung nga, um, there there are some who are into um, who are into that kind of genre, and then they also perform. Mm-hmm. So sometimes whenever. Uh, whenever my event din ako, I also organize events. I get to invite mm. them, and then really, they really are very colorful, very energetic, and it actually draws a lot of crowd. So I'm very proud that I got to work with them. And unfortunately, ngayon they have to uh, they go on hiatus muna since uh, one of the member has to uh, do, do adulting stuff. And then hopefully by this year, I got to invite. Hopefully, I can get to invite them. Well. 
uh, for this year, for uh, this year, I'm also looking forward to more performance. Um, a verse, if it's not a version of uh, the Cebu version of whatever came from Manila, or hopefully our, our very own originals, our own very own original performance. Mm. Then I guess uh, there's also some who are based on an anime, um, idol, idol genre, or maybe a singing group. But uh, what's so cool about our community is that we also have, excuse me, <laughs> we also have, um, uh, you know, you, your line, April? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we also have a performer um, who plays the piano. Uh, we're still looking for a cowrie. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, very talented uh, performers in Cebu. So not only uh, sub, not only bands, not only dancers. We also have a pianist. So yeah, uh, there's a lot diverse talaga ang mga tao or mga cosplayers here in Cebu and the and, and the cosplaying community. Ayun no. So really, I, I really appreciate your time here. Uh, a lot of uh, you've said a lot, and it because uh, at that time when I went to Cebu, we were having an event there. Of course, I'm part of a bis uh, business events organizer, and of course, uh, let me be blunt. Tagala ako, tagala kami, so uh, we get to uh, uh, collaborate with uh, mga mga Cebuano diyan, and it's just, it's, okay. it's just so happens na that was December at that time. Eh, mga ang nasa isip na ng mga tao is holiday na eh. Uh, pero, yung susunod, yung susunod yeah. na punta ko dyan ng uh, Cebu, Arcon. Sige, uh, I'll double check na rin kung yun yung mga piece of airs. <laughs> Maka at that time siguro, di ko, tin di yes. ko tinanong yung, ano, yung Arcon sa'yo eh. Kaya, nung nag piece of air, hindi na ako, na, <laughs> di ko na inabutan eh. Di ko na, ano na, kasi I was thinking of... That's totally uh, fine. Ang inisip ko kasi, punta ako ng Otaku Fest, pero yun nga, as, we, uh, as mentioned earlier, as a new location, guys. Like as a new location. Oh, that's that that's that's a that's a thing that we're also looking forward mm -hmm. to. Uh, we hope that um um the organizers of Ataco Fest would be able to announce the the venue na as soon as possible. Because mm -hmm. I know there's not only. Sorry, go ahead. Because mm -hmm. here's the thing: eh, double time, na eh. <laughs> Double time. Na. Double time, na talaga. I agree. I totally agree with uh -huh. you. Uh, knowing that, you know, hindi lang naman ng Cebu uh, attend ang congoers sa pupunta. We also have a lot of friends and uh, congoers uh, outside Cebu, Dumaguete, Bacolod, Iloilo, mm -hmm. uh, also in Manila. And uh, I heard that there's also one from ja uh, a few friends from Japan who will be visiting Otaku Fest for the you know for the experience. Well, of course, we are all going crazy knowing the fact that Reika is coming to you know is going to Otaku Fest last, this year. Last year, so, last year you had Bless Four with Akino, and that oh, was yes. one feat. Oh my God! Hindi yan yung first sa Cebu, I believe. Because, yes, it was the first in Cebu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was crazy. Like I remember. Oh my God! Thank you for reminding me. Bless Four was really heaven. Like they sang the uh, uh, Park, uh, eh? Genesis of Aquarius. Genesis of Aquarius. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes, Genesis of Aquarius. Oh God! And, 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 and then Park. they also. Yes. Extra magic car, right? Right. Yes, and also the second ending of. Uh, ancient uh, fairy magus bride. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, it was really magical. Talagang ano, I don't know. Lumabas yung pagka fanatic ko. Nakalimutan ko na mag maging compose. But I was really, it was really fun. Mm -hmm. It was really good that knowing that uh, that's for is a 90s, di ba? Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, 90s, 2000 na na band. Uh, they popularized um, Genesis of Aquarian. Uh, Aquarian rather, mm -hmm. uh, that anime. I think so. We get nung from another from a cable channel, mm -hmm. uh, for a local cable channel, mm -hmm. and then you know, I fell in love with the song. It was like it was during the college years, and knowing that they uh, were able to visit us last year, it was all nostalgic. And then when they started singing the song, everybody was screaming, and this uh, it was really uh, marvelous. It was a very beautiful. Actually, gabi pa yun talaga. Talagang umabot ng gabi. And it was like we were watching a free concert. Of course, we paid the ticket. But it was a free, it was like a free, a really cheap-ass ticket. And for us to buy and then got to experience, got to watch 
a few feet closer to the performers to Blessed Four, and that was really a magical uh, moment in Otaku Fest last year. Well, besides WCS, of course. Mm-mm. WCS, you guys rock. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it's it's uh, I'm really happy with the developments of the WCS in the Philippines as well. Because I've been co- I've been uh, monitoring the World Cosplay Summit uh, since mm-hmm. it's it started. You know, well, wala pang keep six to mm-hmm. It's it's still there mo eh. Ayan. So mm-hmm. ayan. So uh, siguro and, 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 and we have so many things to discuss. Uh, so many so many so many moments to share. So many keep six to record. Pero The time is up. <laughs> uh, But before we, before we, before we go, time is up. Just a little hint, and you know the reason why I really would like to invite everyone to go to Otaku Fest this year. Mm-hmm. Not only that we have WCS, they are also having the first yata na pop culture Hiroshima. Yes, pop culture That's Hiroshima. That's another cosplay yes. competition, and mm-hmm. also a uh, One Piece Grand Prix uh, happening on day two. Mm-hmm. So that's a lot of things that people needs need to uh, watch and experience joining the competition. So uh, this is one of the first, if I'm not mistaken, please do correct me. Uh, this is the first na, that's gonna be happening here in the Philippines, and then we're looking forward to com- uh, you know, contestants all around the Philippines to join the first ever pop culture Hiroshima. And um, and also WCS and also Reika and other you know international cosplayers who will be joining us this year. Mm-hmm. All right. Now the question is, magkano direct flight? Magkano ano? Uh, uh, magpahanda na ako na ano ayon. You tempted me. Eh. Sabi ko arcon, arcon. Tapos biglang biglang nagsingit ka pa na ano? You dish out these things one piece. Uh, okay. So about pop culture, uh, pop culture Hiroshima. As far as I know. Is it's a separate event and it's a cultural event sa Hiroshima na kung saan para tong uh, got talent no tama ba para siyang mm. got talent oh. uh, it's like um you're gonna per- you can dance you can sing you can also do the battle you know you know, fight scene or just do as a regular a skit and mm-hmm. then also um, as based on my research um once you got to represent the Philippines you also have to sing a Japanese song. Mm-hmm. So minus one Japanese song. All right, so parang idol ish, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Pero mm-hmm. um, as speaking far as of, I can uh, see this, so yeah. Speaking of idols, last year sa pop culture Hiroshima, we've had they've had Asami Imai, aka Chihaya Kisaragi, ng the Idol Master, the OG. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Eh? I wonder who's their next guest. Hopefully from Idol Master again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So also, kung pupunta ka dito sa Cebu for Otaku Fest, uh, since it's an open event and February uh, is a uh, season where it's getting closer to summer. Mm-hmm. So don't forget to bring a lot of... Um, you know, a lot of water. <laughs> you know, oh, para ma- na para ma-hydrate. Na Extra damit na rin. Extra Ma-imit. damit na rin, if in case. Pero, oh. pero the organizer, uh, they're very thoughtful. Uh, they even got to sponsor uh, Nature Spring because they know that uh, a lot of congoers will be very thirsty. So, mm-hmm. yung, uh, uh, from left and right, there's a lot of uh, mineral water uh, or some fruit juices that they're actually selling, which is okay. It was good. And I guess, um, uh, na experience na talaga namin yung, ano, yung init. Yung, ano, yung, yung summer breeze that, that really is coming, that's will be happening. But the magic of uh, when it bumps into the 6 p.m. is really marvelous. It's really something that um, it, kind of forget, it kind of forgets the heat wave and all. Talagang mm-hmm. you really are looking forward to the magic that's happening on stage. Mm-hmm. And that's something that I, that I want you to experience and you and your friends will be coming over here. Um, hopefully by uh, by February 22 and 24 you get to experience why I, what I have experienced last year mm. uh, I, aside from that uh, uh, I'll uh, I have a friend uh, named Serena she's with the mm. Lily Cat and she will be going there so oh, nakasama, na, nakasama ko na siya sa Davao mm. nung World Cosplay mm. Summit Philippines Nationals sa last April last year So, uh, kung hindi man ako makapunta, she's already there. She's going to beam us the updates. 
aside from you and of course uh organize din ako ng meet up sa inyong dalawa <laughs> kung pwede ko kung, kung pwede ah kasi I, I, I'm, I'm I'm now aware of your uh situation as uh, part of team madness so with that Gary Montejo Cebu's cosplay event buzzer maraming maraming daghang salamat daghang salamat po and, and thank you guys uh, all the uh, way from Cebu we uh Thank you very much for the opportunity for me to be invited into your wonderful podcast uh, podcast show. <laughs> okay, so plug in your uh, Facebook, your blog, your website. Oh, thank you. Um, for for those people who wish to visit us in Cebu, or for the, for everyone who is also a Cebuan who's able to listen to Jay's podcast, you can always visit um, my page. That's just only, all you have to do is open Google and then enter the three words, Cebu Cosplay Buzz or Cebu Cosplay. The first search result will show Cebu Cosplay Event Buzz, our uh, community page. We also have a group page. Just go to Facebook, use the search Cebu Cosplay Buzz or Cebu Cosplay Event Buzz. It will show a group page there. It will uh, just simply join. I will uh, I will click on it and confirm that you're in as one of the uh, part of the members in the group. And then we will. Uh, it will show on the pin post the whole year uh, round of events that that's happening in Cebu. Well, hopefully by before this month ends, updated the shuttle hat. So yes. And um, yeah, uh, so far those are my cha- uh, those are my links. Just uh, my Facebook is my platform, uh, social media platform. But you can also check on Instagram. You can also check on Twitter, and you can also check on Tumblr. Cebu Cosplay Event Buzz. It's there. That wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. New episodes can be heard on Anchor.fm/Keepsakes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. You can follow me on Twitter at Jayagonoy. More updates will be posted on facebook.com slash keepsakes by Jay. Leave your voice messages using the Anchor app available on Google Play and App Store. Shout out to Lee Rose Bear for the music. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.